Hi everyone, this is Tuplex. Welcome back to episode two of our latest series. Okay, so in the last episode we got things started. Uh, we've got some power up here. Uh, we've got some burner drills down here, making important stuff that we need. Um, and next is to start doing some nanobots. Before we get into that though, let's pick our next research. Um, long reach might be nice to do, but I think optics is probably a little bit better. I would like to have some lamps available. So I'll do optics first and then we'll do start doing a little bit of long reach research. Okay, um, the other thing that I would like to do is start to make some stone brick so that we can put in walking paths. Um, I like having walking paths, uh, at least in the starter base where we're moving around mostly by walking. Um, number one, because it gives you a run speed boost, but really the more important thing to me, or I think what I get more from uh, uh, that was that wasn't phrased very well. Uh, where I think I get more benefit is from using the paths just to kind of separate the various sections of the base and help to keep things um, somewhat organized and easy to see where things are. All right, so um, so I'll get these. I think. Yeah, let me. I'm going to put a couple more drills on the other side of these. I don't, I don't recall the exact ratios, but I think, um, I think two drills can keep these furnaces busy without overloading them too much. Okay, so now we can make lights. Let's do long reach number one. And we can craft a couple of lights as well. Let's see. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna delete that blueprint for now. I think I usually put lights there. And we'll just throw in a light here, just so we can see things better at night. And then I also want a light over here. And then we'll start making some nanobots, and then we'll start laying out our smelting area. Oops. We only need one. There we go. And I need more axes. I'll make two. All right, so I'm going to make I'm going to make two nano emitters. And the reason for that is because I want to have one nano emitter for construction bots and I want to have another one for the termite bots, which are used to remove trees. Um, and by having one of each, then you don't have to switch the ammo to get the one that you want. It's just a, a convenience thing. Okay, so long reach one is done. Uh, I'm also going to do long mine and long build. One level of each of those. And then we'll get back into some of the more traditional research. All right, I've got plenty of resources on me. I don't think I need to keep feeding these. All right, so let's uh, let's start making some nanobots automatically. So the recipe is an iron axe and a repair pack. So the repair pack takes circuits. All right, so I'm going to set this up like that and this way we'll we'll alternate the circuits uh, since I have two inserters coming out half of them will go in this box for me to use and then half will go in here for the bots and then we also need gear wheels okay and then we need as well 
Uh, pickaxe, I think, is the other ingredient. Yeah, iron axe. And that's going to need... Uh, let's see. Let's move that up one. Okay, that'll be the construction bots themselves. These will be the iron axe, and those need iron sticks. Okay, and then I'm going to need a couple handfuls of inserters. Okay, so gears will go there, and then that'll go in there, that'll go in there, and I'll put the output right there. So this is going to be iron. So I'll just put a few stacks of iron in there. Um, and I also need some iron down here. And another power pole. Actually, let's do that. I'll replace this with a fast one since we need two to one. Okay, so two, one, two, three. All of those in there. Okay, so that'll start making construction bots, albeit a little bit slowly. Okay, so we got long mine done. Uh, I'll do long build, and then we'll get back to the to our main path here. All right. So I'll pick up some more resources. Um, I will. I'll just handcraft a few stacks of termite bots. Um, and actually I'll handcraft a few stacks of the regular bots too, just so we can get a usable quantity faster. They deplete fairly quickly, so. Okay, so. Smelting. <clears throat> Now, as I mentioned, we're going to want to feed. Once these patches are mined out, I'm going to want to feed smelting with train stations. So I want the train stations to be able to come up through this area. Um, and because of that, that means that I ought to start put my first smelting area to the east of this lake. Um, Otherwise, I'll have trouble fitting a train station if I put smelting stuff up here. Um, and I'm going to need to leave plenty of room for belts. Um, you know, I'm going to I'm going to go through a factorial planner to try to get a better to get a better handle on what I'm going to need in the starter base. But, but generally I do like four smelting lines of copper and four of iron. So in this case, I'm going to do double that since we're looking for twice the output. So that means I'll have eight smelting lines making copper, eight making iron. Uh, and I'm going to need essentially eight belts feeding each of those as well. So I'm going to need, above this copper patch, I'm going to need to leave enough room to feed the belts of ore and coal. Um, yeah, so let's, um, 
Let's start making some belts. And actually, that's something I should automate as well. All right, let's stop making these bots for a moment. All right, and in fact, I'm just going to... I'll set these up for us to start making belts. So I'll have this one make gears. And this one to make... No, actually, here's what I'm going to do. I'll have that one making gears. And then this one making the belts. try to avoid pulling <laughs> pulling iron plates from those there we go uh, and speaking of automation some more wooden chests. I'm going to automate the production of stone furnaces. Um, I don't think I need stone for anything besides furnaces and stone brick. At least not right now. So if I start turning all of my stone... into furnaces, I think that will not be a problem for me. Okay, long build's done. Let's do steel next. And that way I'll be able to... I'll be able to make a steel axe, first of all. That'll be nice to have. Alright, let's see how we're doing up here. Okay, here we need more resources. So it's two iron, one copper. This needs two iron, three copper. We'll pick those up. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, and I wouldn't mind having another light in there somewhere. Let's see how we're doing on power. Okay, we're almost, yeah. Hitting our first megawatt of power consumption. Oh, I already have a ton of coal already. Alright. Well, since I'm here... We'll go down and, f and feed all these things. Um, and actually, that reminds me. I can just hit Shift-C. <laughs> and that makes that part fairly easy. Okay, so let's start laying out our smelting area. All right, so we're going to be bringing, bringing belts up this way, let's say. All right, so I'm going to clear some trees using my termite bots. Let's clear some more.
Oh, and you know what? I guess the other good thing about the nanobots, since they since they use um, an iron axe as an ingredient. Oh no, never mind. I was gonna say that it would it uses up some wood. I was thinking of the wood handle, but actually there's there's no wood actually in the recipe. But I think that's um, that's actually one of the one of the things I like about Angels and Bob's mods is that uh, you actually have a use for wood, whereas in the base game, um, once you get past you know using it for fuel and small power poles, after that there's not much use for it. Okay, so let me put my belts there. All right, so um, we're gonna have resources coming up here, right? And let's leave a little bit of space. One, two, three, four tiles. All right, so I'm gonna have I'm gonna have eight belts of copper ore. One, two. I'm gonna have eight belts of iron ore. Um, we're gonna need some stone. I would say let's just say two belts of stone to make stone brick and then two belts of coal let's say so the so this I'll leave this open so that I have room to feed all of the smelting so that means that I can put the first smelting line north of this so I'll leave another one two three four there Right, so approximately here is where we will put the first smelting line. Um, and the ratios haven't changed uh, since the last time I played vanilla, so that means that with yellow belts, our smelting lines can have 48 furnaces. Um, do I want to use the same layout or should I go with the one that's more efficient on power poles but less efficient on Oops. Okay, so these are going to go like this. Uh, where's the edge of the lake? Right there. So I'll leave a little bit of space. So somewhere about here is where the first one will go. And I guess I'll just, I'll keep the same layout that I normally use. Um, although then that becomes a problem for steel. Right, because then the steel, let's see. This is the blueprint book I used in my 0 0.16 Let's Play. Uh, let's see. I know I've got steel here. There we go. Yeah, see, with steel, I had to change the layout to put power poles in between the furnaces. So I think I'll do the same thing in this case. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down like that, just as sort of a placeholder to get things started. but then I'm gonna get rid of some of this stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'll leave the belts where they are, but everything else I'm gonna get rid of. Actually, I think I can do this more quickly with a deconstruction planner. There we go. Um, and then the other thing that I had on this blueprint that we don't need anymore were these underground belts to get extra belt compression. We don't need that. Since there was an update to the game that made that no longer necessary to compress the belts. All right, so I'll just lay the, I'll, I'm just gonna put these belts down manually uh, just to save on nanobots. Okay, uh, let's go back for more belts. In the meantime, I will craft a handful of splitters and a handful of undergrounds.
Looks like steel's almost done. Okay, awesome. Got a lot of belts. These are all full. Let's load all the coal. Yeah, we've got lots of furnaces now. So, we are making pretty good progress, I would say. up. Alright, so this is where the copper ore will come in and this line here will be for the coal. Now this is going to be the last one on the line, so in this particular case I can just feed it in like that. Alright, let me put undergrounds I think I normally have on three. Like that. Okay, steel is done. Um, yeah, let's do electronics next, and then I'll probably do... No, I'll wait on nanobot range and speed until I have a proper red sign set up. We'll just do the inexpensive ones for now. All right, so this is for the coal. This is for the ore. There we go. Okay, so let's start laying this out. Um, let's see, I could have, I could move that one closer. And we could put the first furnace there. No, we can't. The first one has to go there because we want to mirror this on the other side. Okay. And I think I'll go two and then a space and then two. Right? So then we just have power poles in between like that. Um... I'm not going to, do I want to put in lights? Yeah, let's put in lights. We might as well just try to do it properly from the beginning. That means I'm going to have to craft a lot more lights. Um, and I'll just do lights on one side. We'll do lights on the left side. Make some inserters. Okay. And now I'll turn on my nanobots. And I will make a blueprint of this. Subtract that. No, actually let's just make a blueprint. I'll just make a blueprint of one unit like that. There we go. All right, so we can have 48 furnaces to saturate a yellow belt. So I've got four, I've got eight, Um, that'll be like 12 sections. So there's two sections. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, and then we just have to wait for the nanobots to do their thing. Uh, the nanobots are kind of slow, and then, of course, I have a lot of items that I need to craft as well. Um, so you can see that the range of the nanobots right now is fairly limited. It won't go beyond that. 
uh, the speed for now is, you know, it's, it's going just as fast as I can make the stuff. So that's not really a problem right now. Okay. And then I should probably start making some mining drills as well. So I'll just, bam, I'll just make as many as I can with what I've got. Let's wait for some of those lights to get crafted. I think I'm going to need, yeah, I'm going to need a lot more inserters. Okay, I'll come back up and finish the rest of this. So this will be the first copper line. Um, and then I'll, I'll grab a blueprint of that whole thing once it's done. Now what I'm going to do now is um, I just want to lay out where these others are going to go. All right, so we're going to have eight lines of copper. So that's the first one. And then we're going to have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, that's a lot of copper. And then I'll put a path, one, two. We'll put a path there. And then we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight iron. One, two, put a path, and so on and so forth. Uh, I think I'll need two for steel, and I'll do two for stone. Oh, you know what? Um, I'm going to need more belts of iron. of iron ore because I need to send that over to the steel as well. Well, I think I'll be okay. I think I'll be okay with what I've got so far. Okay. So these top two belts will be coal. And then this is going to be copper. So if copper comes up, we've got eight copper. Do I want the first one? Yeah. So we'll say that the first one of these belts is for the copper ore. And the last one is for the iron. Let's get rid of some of these trees again. Um, when you're using the termite bots, you want to be careful that you don't get too close to structures because they will damage anything that's that gets in those little green clouds. Okay. Uh, and then we should probably have a path over here on this side too. Okay, so this kind of delineates our smelting area. All right, so this is going to be copper plate. And then over here is going to be iron plate. So the next thing I need to do is make more inserters and then I'll make another line for copper. Okay. And once I have, 
once I have one smelting line of copper and one of iron, then I'll start to lay out the main bus. Because that'll be enough to get... Oh, I'm out of power. That'll be enough to get um, red science going. Yeah, I didn't want to do quite so much there. I'm hitting shift E uh, to sort the chest. That's a picker extended feature. All right. Okay, and I should have some mining drills now. So we can actually start to get some coal running up here. And I think I'll put the drills this way. And usually I only put the drills where the drill itself is actually touching some of the ore. Otherwise I'll skip it. Alright, so I think I'll want these to go this way and then they can come up and join the bus up here. Alright, let's get rid of those trees. And then I'm gonna have I'm gonna want to have a separate source for electricity. So I'll give electricity its dedicated set of mining drills. Oops. Okay, and I'm short one. So let's grab more plates and uh, we'll get coal hooked up before we finish for the day. Uh, yeah, we're missing iron there. More belts. So this will feed our steam power, and the rest we can use for mining. All right, and then the steam power, one, two, we'll bring over here. And that works pretty well. So this, for now, I'm just going to run it all the way up and there. Okay, and then let's finish getting this over to the power plant here. Check our power. Looks like we're going to need a little bit more. 
let's do I don't really need anything military um, but I'll, I'll go ahead and research it anyway all right um, so while I'm here I'm gonna do a doubling up of our electrical supply Couple of those inserters, and I will need a single section of pipe. So we're good on power now that we got all these mining drills running. Uh, we need a bit more of it. Okay, so that's good. We've got uh, coal to our first smelting line. Um, like I said before, I need to I need to start crafting more inserters. So um, I'll do some of that offline uh, to get this first copper line made. Um, and I will also put in the first iron line and then we can start running the ore up, uh, and getting that ready to go. So until then, thanks a lot for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.